Hey my fellow war gamers and welcome back to 31 days of Halloween. Well the time has come. October 31st has arrived. It's Halloween. My favorite day of the year. Man I swear October went by so fast. For the final 31 days of Halloween I have prepared something special. A horror game that makes you feel like you're actually inside a horror movie. Today I will be reviewing Until Dawn for the PlayStation 4. Until Dawn was developed by Supermassive Games, and originally it was going to be released on the PlayStation 3 with PlayStation Move support, but the game was shifted to the PlayStation 4 and went through many changes, and was finally released on October 25, 2015 in North America, and was actually the first game I picked up for the PlayStation 4, before I even had a PlayStation 4 because I really wanted to play this game, and when I finally got the PlayStation 4 several months later, this was one of the first games I tried, and I really enjoyed it. Until Dawn is a very creative game. In some ways I want to call this game the ultimate evolution of a full motion video game, but in other ways it's more like an interactive horror movie, but still so much more. Until Dawn's story follows the plot of a horror movie. Until Dawn starts with a group of kids who are celebrating a winter getaway at their friend Josh's lodge, which is called Blackwood Pines Lodge which is located in Blackwood Mountain in Alberta, Canada. One night the group pulls a prank on one of Josh's sisters, Hannah, embarrassed and humiliated. She runs off into the cold dead of night and her sister Beth goes after her and something bad happens and neither girl ever return and they're never found. And one year later, the group returns to the lodge to celebrate and honor their missing friends, but something is not right. I don't want to give away the whole story for you guys, so I'm only going to explain what you do in the game. And then I will give my final discussion about Until Dawn after. In Until Dawn you take control of 8 characters throughout the course of the game. And the game is divided into 9 chapters plus the prologue at the beginning. Your primary objective throughout the game is to keep all 8 characters alive. And to do this, you need to make split second decisions with quick time events. And if you fail and get a character killed, or make certain choices, it will trigger a butterfly effect, which means the path the game takes you on will change, and as a result it will open up entirely new areas of the game, creating an entirely different experience. And this is a really creative mechanic, and allows for a lot of replayability. Along with the quick time events, you also need to collect clues and other items in order to try and get the best ending, but finding every clue can be difficult because they are hidden everywhere, so you will need to explore if you want to find every item. The game is full of twists and turns and at first you will be thinking you're trying to survive a killer trying to kill you but by the end of the game you will be battling something far more sinister. Until Dawn is a very creative game and I was blown away by it. Until Dawn's gameplay is ingenious and it allows for so much replayability with so many branching paths you can take because of the butterfly effect. It's just incredible. Until Dawn does have straightforward simple gameplay, but you know what? It's not a problem, not only because of the branching pass and the level of exploring you need to do to find clues and other hidden items, but the quick time events keep you on your toes because one wrong move can get the character you're playing killed. And there's one really interesting mechanic during certain quick time events that requires you to stay perfectly still and not move your controller, and if you mess up, you can die. Also, Until Dawn does have a motion controller option, but you need the PlayStation 4 camera to use it. But it can make the game easier during certain quick time events because it can give you better aiming control. And this is one feature I haven't tried yet, but when I get the PlayStation 4 camera, I will. Until Dawn is an amazing looking game. It's incredible how amazing the game looks, from the stunning level design to character models and weather effects. It's just incredible. And Until Dawn is easily one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 4. Until Dawn's sound design is equally impressive from the excellent voice acting which is done by some pretty talented actors that give excellent performances and the music and sound effects in the game create a very creepy atmosphere and it's great. Until Dawn is a very creepy game and it will try to scare you at every turn but unfortunately for me I have watched horror movies all my life so it's not easy to scare me and I think playing Alien Isolation back in October 2014 which really scared me helped prepare me for this game and I think I only jumped maybe once 
But this is still a very creepy game, and I love it. Until Dawn is a really great game, but there are a few problems that hold the game back. First, controlling the characters is fine, but they feel a bit stiff, and I just wish the controls felt more fluid. But this is a minor issue. Another issue is some plot holes in the game's story. Without going too heavily into the story, we learn some shocking things, and I feel there should have been a dedicated chapter or two to explain these revelations because I am sure this would have created a more well-rounded story, but this is honestly still minor and doesn't really hold the game back in any major way. Until Dawn is a really solid game and is easily one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 4. And it's a real shame that Sony didn't realize how amazing Until Dawn actually is because they gave the game very little marketing and they released it in August instead of October which is a crying shame because despite this, until Dawn still outperformed everyone's expectations. Until Dawn has gone a spin-off VR title called Until Dawn Russia Blood, which I have ordered. But I really hope Supermassive Games eventually makes a sequel, because I would love to come back to the Until Dawn universe. I give Until Dawn a final score of 9 out of 10. I highly recommend you guys check out this amazing game. This concludes 31 Days of Halloween. This has been one wild ride. And I have really enjoyed reviewing all these excellent horror games for you guys. Have a great Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off. Sam. Sam.